Kevin here, video on this 2007 Encore. I'm gonna talk a little fast because I'm running out of battery for real, but finally got to the moment to take this video, so I wanna make it it's a really pretty motorhome. It's in excellent, excellent shape. The colors are way ahead of its time. Most of those sevens are god awful as far as the exterior colors go, a lot of them anyway. We'll start back here, take a look. I open everything up. Paint looks, I mean, immaculate. I can't find really much of a blemish at all. 330 horsepower, turbo diesel. It's probably a Cummins, could be a cat. Easy to figure that out, but they're both great engines. The lights are ni nice and modern back here. This access to your motor here, your 50 amp cable, your battery bank. We go through and check the batteries. Those look like old ones, we'll probably replace them. Same thing with the tires. I don't know if I checked the tire date on the other, in the photographs yet, but they're from 14. So those are gonna be brand new tires. Great looking um, dump station, super easy. I like the little storage space, everything. They did a great job. This is the back side of the main storage. It goes all the way through. You can see inside under here, it looks perfectly clean and nice. Everything's in good shape. That's three full compartments full of stuff looking at the paint see it looks great this other compartment here is just where the power gear for the hydraulic leveling jacks and probably the slides is kept fuses over here uh, windshield wiper fluid all uh, the slide toppers are in good shape if anything wasn't we do fix stuff like that if like there's a tear up here in the slide topper or whatever but this thing came in looking really good again modern looking headlights are nice and shiny and clear that's going to provide a lot of light. I love how they mount these mirrors up here. This is the best possible place for a mirror mount, but most of them don't do it there. Access to the generator. It's an 8,000 kilowatt. There's uh, 636 or something hours on the generator. You should be able to read that on there. The front has a sticker on the whole thing. There's a sticker. And that sticker protects it from, it's called DigiShield. Sometimes it's called Diamond Shield, but it makes it so you can't get any rock chips. And it's on the whole front. If at any time it gets too scratched up with pretty good condition still, but you can always replace it. It's also around the lock entry here so you don't get rings and jewelry scratching it up. So yes, this is Mercedes Benz, uh, Mercedes Benz 330, not the Cummins or Cat. My bad, just remembered when I saw that. <laughs> so keep looking, we got the awning that goes all the way around the slide out and way beyond it. They have a really great awning coverage. There's a Vizio uh, exterior TV that pulls out of here so you can see it great from outside. They have one slide tray. Those are just some hazard triangles. That's probably some, the fresh water storage in there. There's some lights under there. There's a uh, barbecue hookup, I think it is. So you can hook up your barbecue or arrows. I'm not sure which, I'll have to investigate that, but it's some kind of quick connect. This massive storage compartments here for whatever you want. This is a typical, this is an actual raised rail diesel pusher chassis. Another good storage compartment over here. Goes fairly deep. Most of the storage compartments open up this way, which is great. There's your Magnum 2000 watt inverter. Another access point and also your huge propane tank. You got a ladder in the back to get up on top. Let's head on the inside. Okay, I have to tell you, I totally love the floors. The, the black floors are super cool. The seats are in awesome condition. This comes out for a leg rest. It also, the seats still swivel, so it kind of turns it into a recliner. This one just swivels, no foot rest. It's kind of a safety issue. Love how you get the wraparound dash. Makes everything right at your fingertips. A little bit of storage up in front here. Just enough, just for little stuff. Kind of out of the way. There's nothing in the way of your head when you come in the coach. It's nice and open, unlike a lot of brands is what it is. Some of your main controls over here. Again with the generator hours, 636. 
your weather pro awning which means you can set it to come in and out if it's too windy it'll come in automatically if it senses the wind you've got a sleeper sofa probably here yep just probably a little jackknife sofa there got all the lights on nice light inside here all the original documents are still here in the uh, original packaging came with the motorhome got your user manual and all the other ch rv chassis manuals it's all here i love how you get one two three four and then especially when you have these side to side windows for that great airflow another big window over here kitchen window got a convection microwave bigger than most ovens that'll do everything you need it to do if you really want another oven this could be turned into another oven and cooktop i've done it before right now it's a three burner cooktop they take out the top piece and they put in the oven and the top piece so you could have two ovens but people do like having the storage you've got your cover that's still good this little knife slot here for your knives spice rack storage is kind of everywhere probably have a little storage under here yep underneath here you also have seat belts these are just these um, things that people put on the floor so you don't get any kind of dirt or debris from your slide rolling in honestly it's an aftermarket product i believe some people use them some people don't but better be safe than sorry i guess right those are just slide brackets you can also put in your slide when it's closed between the slide and the wall the edge of the slide and it just helps added safety some motorhomes came with them another tv here vizio hd tv it says a little storage over here you got your dvd player up there a couple more things i'm not sure what this is but there's a, looks like there's a satellite dish on the roof it's a stationary satellite, so that's good. You got your super sized fridge. This is a good sized RV fridge and freezer on this side with ice maker. Got an extension up here. It gives you more space in the kitchen, so you got even more. <clears throat> a fantastic fan for ventilation. Good size bathroom area. And yeah, I just dig this polished black floor. It's kind of sharp. Got a nice big shower, skylight, plenty of space in this shower. It's very wide. Little medicine cabinet. This is a great storage compartment here, but it's also behind these shelves. If you wanted, you could have a combo washer dryer. Most likely plumbed for a washer dryer they leave it some big, you know we don't order these kind of a motorhomes with the washer dryer typically either we leave it up to the customer if they want to add it then we can there's your bathroom some more storage here mirror there's probably something on the other side of that that's why there's just storage in these two compartments you got here's another fantastic fan soft touch ceiling not the hard plastic got some sliders here to give you privacy queen bed but this queen bed you could probably remove the side tables which are useless and you could probably put a king bed in here at least a little bit bigger uh bed like maybe an olympic queen which is a 66 inch wide bed but it's plenty long it's a full size length bed which is good you got a little more storage over here there's some the uh breaker box and fuses up here nice big uh, window and then you got windows on each side of the bed for air ventilation a real wood headboard got another storage compartment up here in the corner some of these details but yeah huge huge window and it's their day night shade so you can block out a lot of the light and then massive storage over here you got another TV TV slides out of here so you can watch it from bed and put it away if you're not using it. It's a, not the it's not an, a not an updated TV, but it's a flat screen, so 
easy to replace if you want to get a fresh, you know, smart TV or something. So lots of storage in these apartments. So that's a good amount of storage. Closet is cedar lined. There's a few more pillows. Oh, cool. There's a wall safe. That's super cool to have. And I dig the uh, cedar lining. Keeps the closet smelling fresh. Storage under the bed, plenty of it. I think that's about it. <clears throat> Man, this air conditioner feels amazing. Especially since it's been a little warm and I've been running around all day. So I think I've pretty much covered it. <clears throat> Anything else you think of, let me know. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube for you to watch and hope to hear from you soon.